morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to tell you a story. It's a story that began five years ago when I received a phone call while revising for my GCSE exams. As I stood up to take a break from my exams, this phone call came through. And it's this exact phone call that is the reason I'm standing here in front of you today. The man on the phone asked me about social clubs for young people. We talked about the stress of revising and examinations and applying to universities and jobs. We talked about the importance of social responsibility to the development of young people. Two years after this, the idea was brought up at a local AGM. I attended the AGM as a guest, being only 15 years old. Everybody at the AGM thought it was a fantastic idea, and it was then that we decided action must be taken in order to get this project off the ground. Three and a half years after that phone call, young people aged 17 to 19 met as a focus group for the new idea. We talked about the problems that young people face and how they can be alleviated through the creation of a new social club. As I'm sure you are aware, the new generation of young people face new pressures that have never had before. Passing exams is no longer enough. Students must achieve high grades in everything they do, all subject areas, as well as achieving in sports, other extracurricular activities. Students must be seen to be helping their community and volunteering. We need, that's when we decided that we needed a club that could utilize their time, allowing young people to stay young people, to socialize. A club that utilized this time, escape from the pressures and stresses of exams and revision, but also a club that allowed its members to develop their confidence, their skills, and subsequently their CV. Five years ago, this weekend, I received that phone call. And the man at the end of that phone call was our outgoing national president, Marcus Jones. He had an idea, and it was his vision to bring Roundtable into the 21st century. For Roundtable University to become part of the amazing network of Roundtable, Ladies Circle, 41 Club and the newly founded business clubs. Because of that phone call, I stand here in front of you today as the first chairman of University of Warwick Round Table. And my vice chair is also here, Ed Hornby. Together, it, we are going to become part of the incredible network of all of these clubs. Our club got off to a great start. Earlier this week, we had our first event and we had 17 students and 35 total attendees. The event was so successful that since our social media interaction has doubled and created a great group of diverse prospective members. An exciting programme and events will provide our members with a break from their studying and the great social life that they deserve. But we will also ensure that members have the ability and the opportunities to develop both professionally and personally through businesses coming to talk as well as individuals giving presentations. We want to help them carry their success into their careers, but ultimately into another roundtable club. We're going to give them the opportunity to support the community around their campus, as well as larger national charities and schemes. In spite of this great start, we need to continue to make progress. As I look back five years ago on the phone call that I received, and I think how significant that phone call was today, I'm forced to ask myself, how significant will this moment be in five years' time? It is our responsibility to bring Roundtable into the 21st century, to create a new branch of Roundtable family that will only increase our strength as an organisation. I implore you now to ask your children, young people that you know, whether they're on their way to university, to get involved. We need outstanding young people to start this next generation of Roundtable. Let's have a Roundtable University in every one of the 255 undergraduate institutions in the UK. And let's also stretch that beyond our borders. Let's make a club to be envied by all of those who see the great things we do. Now is the time to make Roundtable the greatest club in the world. Thank you for your time.